Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Mix from version 1 Tattoo. Today, I'm gonna show you my Dragonoff Extreme rotary machine. So, here it is. I have two of them actually. I have a green one and I have a red one. Green, red. So yeah, um, I got these a while back, maybe about six months or seven months ago. So, here it is. Dragonhawks Extreme 1, I think, or Extreme Rotary Machine. So, it comes in a nice little black box. Uh, has some foam, whatever. It comes with some lubricant for the rotary machine. And, of course, the machine itself. I chose green because you know I like green, it's my favorite color. So here's the machine. Right there. And the lube. Yeah, just any lube that they use. If you got any KY jelly, you can use that too. <laughs> um yeah. And here is the red one. I use the green one more just because I like green, like I said. Red one, it's kind of like pinkish green, uh, pinkish red, so yeah, whatever. All right, so those are the two Dragonhawk rotary machines. Have you guys ever wanted to buy a rotary machine, but you look online and you see that Bishop, Spectra, and all the other rotary brands, Inkjetta, all those other brands are in like the 600 to 700, maybe even $800 range. So in the Philippines, it would probably cost us around 30,000 30, pesos or 40,000 pesos for just a pretty awesome machine. And we, get, we have to give it to them. It's, their machines are great. They work really good. But for some people that are just starting out, you know, especially in the Philippines, not everybody's made of money. So a really good starting machine, or maybe a, like a little middle entry machine, once you have enough cash to buy it, is the Extreme from Dragonhawk. It's an amazing machine. Like I can't. I can't stress enough how good it is. I've been using it for eight months and there's no lag, there's no skip in the power, or whatever, there's no surging. Um, it's constant. Though, to be fair, I run it maybe three hours. Yeah, about three hours, depending on what I'm coloring or what I'm doing. The longest time I've used it is about three hours and a half. All right? But for 3,000 pesos, 3,500, this one though, I bought it off Amazon in the States. Um, it cost about $60 or $59. All right, so here we are. I'm about to demonstrate to you guys what it sounds like, how it runs, all that. And I'm going to attach a needle later on so that you know the difference, but here's what it sounds like without the needle. So I'm going to just grab a clip cord. So the nice thing about this machine, by the way, it's still the standard clip cord. We have the RCA's now. I prefer the clip cords because I have a ton of, um, I have a lot of coil machines. So yeah, here we go, attach this thing. And I'll give it a start. So it's pretty quiet. Um, I've had other rotary machines, you know, like the big ones like Bishop, Spectra, all that other stuff. And they're generally more quiet than this. But if you compare it to a coil machine, it is actually a pretty good coil machine. Um, I'll talk about it in a different video. I had this custom made, but you can see the difference in sound.
right? So that's way louder than this. Let me let you guys listen to this again so that you know how big a difference it is. I think it's leaps and bounds when it comes to the sound. All right, here we go. Here's the machine with a grip, a tip, and the needle attached to it. This is what it sounds like. All right, now that you've seen the machine, I'm gonna show you some live footage I took yesterday when I was working on a really big back piece. Uh, I used the machine for basically like the deep saturated blacks. I tried to use it for some blending with a gray wash and I think it did okay. The saturation was amazing. It's a really good color packer. That's probably the biggest pro when it comes to this machine besides the price point so yeah it's a really good machine it's probably one of my favorites for coloring i set up the machine with a 13 magnum that's what i like to use for doing my backgrounds for japanese although this isn't really a japanese tattoo i kind of mix japanese with the ultra anyway I like to slowly build the black, especially with this machine, since the stroke is 3.5 millimeters, which means it goes really deep. Well, it, not really deep, but it's like the perfect stroke for doing shading and color work. But since it's a pretty big piece, I kind of like to take my time, slowly brush it back and forth, not really too many circles, more like ovals in a way. This machine has a lot of give, so ideally you could actually just stick the needle in, keep the tip close to the skin, and continue doing your wrist motions. But every artist has their own way, I kind of do it my way, and I like to like wisp it a bit. If you're wondering about the voltage setting, I put my volts for this tattoo, I think I did it at 6.3 volts. It's a little high, but it's packing, so it's gotta be a little higher. Now if you wanna do like smooth black and gray, when you wanna build your light gray, so you should drop it down to probably 4.5, maybe even 5, and just slowly build the gray. Yeah, so at this point of the tattoo, this dude has been on the table for about, I think, five hours already. And he's feeling the pain, especially with all the gray wash. So I try to keep him as calm as possible and just gently build up the light grays.
I call this machine Baby Hulk because it's a beast when it comes to shading and it's so so good I really like it Hats off to Dragonhawk. I think they're a China company, or at least it's manufactured in China. I may be wrong, I'm not sure. I'm gonna post some links on the description below where you can buy these products. You can, I'll probably specify like Amazon, Lazada, and even the Facebook page. I think there's a Philippine shop here um, dedicated to Dragonhawk supplies. Yeah, it's a really good machine, so don't be afraid to like spend on it. It's worth your money. You're gonna probably use it for years, or maybe like at least two years. You can add it to your rotation of your machines, because you know you, it's better to like use a bunch of different machines and cycle it through so that their lifespan is better, especially when it comes to rotaries. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Leave a comment below, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you next time on the next video. Alright?